guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a 20 minute beginner friendly full body workout. You don't need any equipment, just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, starting off nice and simple for 45 seconds, we're just gonna do some body weight squats. So feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're coming all the way down, keeping the chest lifted and all the way up. Instead of hinging your hips forward at the top of this squat, I want you to keep your body slightly angled forward so that you're keeping those glutes engaged at the top of your squat. You can take these as slow as you need to. You do not need to keep up with my pace. Good, we're gonna take a 15 second rest. Next up, we're gonna do some standing elbow to knee crunches. So fingertips are by the ears. You're gonna bring opposite knee to elbow to meet in the center and switch. As you crunch, I want you to exhale and engage your core. Here we go. Make sure you're bringing that knee up and in front of you so you're engaging that core. Good, taking a 15 second rest. Today's workout, we're gonna work in twos. So we're gonna repeat those two exercises once again, starting off with our body weight squats. Here we go, all the way down, keep your chest lifted. Weight is in your heels so that you're pushing through those glutes to stand up. Don't forget about your core here, keep it nice and tight. more seconds you can do it good taking a quick rest moving into our standing elbow to knee crunches here we go Good, we're moving on to our next set of exercises and we're gonna come down to the ground. So you're gonna be in a tabletop position. We're gonna do some alternating bird dog crunches. <laughs> so you're gonna take your opposite hand and leg or opposite arm and leg, lift it, keep that core tight, bring it in for a crunch, extend back to center and switch. So as you extend your arm and your leg, make sure you're not arching your back and sending the belly button to the floor. You wanna keep it tight, keep that core engaged and a nice neutral spine. Bring it in for a crunch, your knee comes all the way to your chest and then extend.
good. We're gonna stay in the same kind of position. Hands are flat on the floor. You're gonna be in a bear crawl position, so your back is nice and flat. You're gonna lift the knees up off the floor, and as you lift the knees up off the floor, you're gonna tap opposite knee and drop. Lift and tap and drop. So we're working on engaging our core. This is a very small movement, but you will feel it in your core if you're doing it properly. If tapping your knee is too much, I want you to just hover the knees and drop. Lift the knees up and drop. Nice and simple. Just make sure that your back is nice and flat. Good. Give those arms a bit of a shake. Taking a 15 second rest, we're gonna repeat those two again, starting off with our bird dog crunches. Here we go, opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice neutral spine. Make sure you're really feeling that crunch. Bring everything into the center. Engage that core. Okay, give those shoulders a bit of a rest. We're gonna do our bear crawl knee taps. Really make sure that your back is in a flat line or a straight line. You don't wanna be arched here or arched like this. You wanna make sure that your core is engaged. That is the most important aspect of this exercise. If that means you can only lift and drop the knees, totally fine. Good. Moving on to our next set of exercises, we're coming down on our backs. You're going to do just a regular glute bridge. So the weight is in your heels. Your lower back is pressed into the floor. So we're not arching our backs as we're doing this. We wanna protect our lower backs by tucking the booty under and pressing the back into the floor as we come down. Send those hips all the way up to the sky. Good, staying here on your back, we're gonna do some crunches. So you're gonna bring your legs up into a tabletop position. Arms are extended above head. You're gonna do a crunch and tap those fingertips underneath the legs and bring it back around. So make sure your neck is nice and long, your chest is open. We're not going like this as we're crunching. We're looking up to the ceiling, getting the shoulder blades up off the floor. Exhaling as you come up.
good, 15 second rest. We're going to repeat those two, starting off with our glute bridges. So make sure that your weight is in your heels when you're pressing your hips up. If it helps, you can lift those toes up off the floor, dig those heels into the floor, and do your glute bridge like this. I find that it really helps me to target those glutes and make sure that I'm doing the exercise properly. Don't forget about pressing your lower back to the floor. Good, quick rest. We're gonna move into our crunches. Arms come up, your lower back should be pressed into the floor as your arms are above head. And then lift those shoulder blades up off the floor and come back down. So your lower back should not be leaving the floor. work. Moving into our next set of exercises, you're going to flip it over. Next up, we're going to do some shoulder taps. You can do this in a modified plank position, meaning your knees are on the ground, like so. Tapping each shoulder like this, or you can do this in a high plank position, but I want you to make sure that you're not rocking from side to side. If you find that you're rocking, I want you to come down to your knees and practice that core stability in this position. We are standing up for our next exercise. Next up, we're gonna do some jumping jacks. If you want to modify this and make this a no jumping workout, you can just do some step touches to the side or we're doing regular jumping jacks. Here we go. Did I wake you up from your nap? <laughs> Just moves closer to my feet. <laughs> 10 more seconds, keep it going. Nice work. Heading back down to the ground to do some more shoulder taps. Here a little bit. Here we go. Modified looks like this. Notice my upper body's not swaying. I'm making sure that mind to muscle focuses on my core. Or you're up on your toes.
Good, standing up. She didn't want to stick around for the second round of jumping jacks. She was over that. Here we go, last 45 seconds of jumping jacks and I promise no more jumping. We're just trying to get the heart rate up a little bit. Good job. All right, moving on to our last set of exercises. First up, we're gonna do some arm circles. Tight, tiny arm circles. You're either gonna go forwards or backwards. Doesn't matter to me, whatever you wanna do. Here we go. So chest is open, shoulder blades are down the back, and your elbows are slightly bent. Seconds. Good work. Your last exercise are some reverse lunges. You're gonna step to the top of your mat. You're gonna step back into this lunge, making sure this knee isn't too far over the toes. You wanna sit into this heel, back in your lunge, press through this glute, press through this heel to stand up, and then we're gonna switch. Again, you can take these as slow as you need to. Just make sure you're practicing form over speed. Quality over quantity. work. Last round. If you circled forward this time, circle backward. If you circled backward, you're going to circle forward. Here we go. 45 seconds. You can do it. Make sure your shoulders are down, your chest is open. Good work. All right, last 45 seconds, we're gonna do our lunges, and then we're done. Here we go.
it back in your lunge, press through your heel, press through your glute. And that is it guys. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute beginner friendly full body workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Beginners, let me know how you did in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.